yield two minutes to the gentleman from Pennsylvania, Mr. Rothfuss. The gentleman from Pennsylvania is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Workers in western Pennsylvania and across the nation are seeing their hours cut and wages reduced due to the employer mandate in President Obama's health care law. This mandate hurts our friends and neighbors who are working to provide for their families. Last July, a mom working for a food, in the food service industry in Beaver County, Pennsylvania, told me about how her hours had been cut nearly in half because of the employer mandate. Sadly, her story is not unique or an isolated incident. Brian in Allegheny County, Pennsylvania, called the office to let me know that his daughter would have her hours cut at a bridal shop. She is yet another victim of this 30-hour work week rule. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the median hourly wage for someone working in sales in Pennsylvania was $12.18 in 2013. Losing 10 hours a week will cost that worker almost $6,000 annually. Many small business owners want to add jobs and increase wages, but cannot afford to because of the employer mandate. As Brandon from Elwood City said, small companies like ours try to do the right thing for us. They probably won't be hiring someone who can really use a job. Washington should be working to grow the economy and add jobs, not making it harder for employees to earn more and get ahead, or for employers to hire more people. The Save American Workers Act will restore the traditional 40-hour work week and help those who want the opportunity to work more hours and see their wages rise. I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to stand in solidarity with these workers and support this legislation. I yield back. The gentleman yields back. The gentleman from New York.